So as you are fasting and, and, and cleansing and saying goodbye to all the debris and all the energy in your body, you're writing letters of radical forgiveness. You make a list of people. Who do you need to say goodbye to? And who do you need to, who do you need to forgive? All right? Where did you buy the idea that they hurt you? Yeah? What if nothing can hurt you? What if everything, what, what if, what if, uh, how to say, what if things don't happen to you, but they happen for you, mm -hmm. right? What if you turn the tables around and use it, yeah. right? So every, all those, you know, all the things that we went through, they can be a great source of strength. And I like to say that, you know, when you have manure in the garden, right? I mean, shit happens in life, right? Doesn't it? You know, life is going to hit you, surprise you, challenge you all the time. And so if you have that manure in the garden, it's useful, right? Manure is not useful in living room. It stinks. However, if you move it in the garden, you can plant a tree on it. All right? So all the stuff that we went through in our life, it's extremely valuable. It's, there's diamonds inside there. And we can grow a garden inside, a garden of inner strength. And, and be an example to others. So it's about empowerment again, which is what I was talking about. Yeah. You know, making, it this, making this something empowering. And what I'm really excited about this program that uh, Evita's talking about is that I've done cleansers before, but the, the thing is that I'm gonna go back to my old habits again. But the great thing about, from what I've seen from this program, I'm in the process of doing this. This is why I, you know, I'm in close contact with Evita. That's why she's here, because she's got the answers that I didn't have to take me further, to keep this as a lifestyle, something that's going to keep giving me energy, not just something that I do for five minutes and then give up. It's like it's going to keep me healthy, which is what I want. And this radical forgiveness, I've never heard that component mixed with it. So this is really, really exciting. Yes. Imagine, you know, the Hawaiian shamans, the kahunas, they say this, if you're ever broke, all right, they ask you the question, who do you need to forgive? Wow. Isn't that interesting? That's a great question. All right. If you're sick, they ask you the question, who do you need to forgive? Wow. Okay. So, so you know, if you're, if you're alone and single and you would like to have a relationship, the question is the same. Who do you need to forgive? Because it's a cleanup process, yeah. right? And how do you know you have really forgiven? Mm -hmm. Guess what? You know, I don't know anybody. I don't know a single person who is healthy, who holds a grudge. No matter what they eat, okay, they can be the purest of the purest in terms of their food. If they hold a grudge, they are not healthy. And I can read this in their body, all right? So forgiveness is is such a key component because it shifts the energy. You know, our body is swimming, our physical body is swimming in an energy body, right? And if that energy body is, you know, frustrated and angry and, and locked up and not receiving, right? Then, then the physical body cannot align properly, cannot digest properly, right? So in, in terms of ent enterprise that we are running, our company is like our external body. It just, you know, it's, it's, it's just an outside expression of what's inside, yeah? A lot of times I, I, I experienced that as I fasted and cleansed and forgave and let go and turned this manure into flowers, mm -hmm. then I experienced, I experienced so much abundance. I experienced so much, like, manifestation of my wishes. So I would literally, like, my channel, the more I purify my channel, the more I, like, think and think, that would be fun. And then it shows up in completely unpredictable ways. And it shows up the faster, the more pure I am inside, the faster and easier it shows up. Yeah? So there is some kind of an interaction between the, the outside world. <laughs>